Okay, well, I'll start. Um, Cohen Trahardy here from Lumpology.com, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering simple AI, and so let's get straight into it. Now, this is going to be kind of rush rush tutorial. I am a bit rush rush. Uh, this will take a little while. Okay. So let's start by deleting everything in our scene. Um, we're going to give a simple cube AI, and then I'm going to show you how to link up a model to it if you were to use a model. So we're going to go from Blender Render to Blender Game, and I'm going to drag in my bottom panel, like so, and I'm going to switch to a logic editor. Okay, actually, for this a for AI to work properly, I'm going to want to put my timeline on to 1. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get straight into it. So, to give this cube proper AI, I'm going to um, add... Well, let's start with a script. So, it's just a very basic script. It's for random numbers. Uh, when it receives a number, it's going to um, do it. So, I'm going to click New. I'm going to name the script random. .py. I'm going to add a property. This property is going to be an integer. I'm going to call it AI. And there we go. So, um, in the first line, we're going to want to import random. On the second line, what we're going to want to do is going to go from uh, BGE import logic. Okay. On the third line, we're going to want to do cont, aka count, equals logic dot get current, uh, controller. Okay, and then I'm going to open brackets, close brackets. You could say parentheses also, and then I'm going to do own equals cont dot logic. Hope this is not too hard to follow. And then on the next line here, I'll make it slightly easier. On the uh, next line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's do something like rand equals random dot Radiant. Yes, as a spelling error. And then I'm going to open brackets, close brackets, and in between the brackets, I'm going to put this, and I'm going to say from one to four. This is our AI numbers, so pretty simple, straightforward. Okay, do this. Doesn't really matter. Um, random radiant. Okay, and two lines down, I'm going to say um, own these boxes and say AI, which is our prop, uh, equals rand. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to check this. I'm going to go down. I'm going to say should be by properties. Okay, we haven't applied it to anything yet, so I'd probably start it out on zero. And then say always, I'm gonna make this positive, and I'm gonna say actually, you know what? For proper AI, I'm going to use a something I rarely use, which is a random sensor. So basically randoms are not very good, but they work in the way that they are either true or false. So I'm going to use random. Uh, I'm going to do Python, I'm going to link the random into the Python script and take random. Uh, you won't have this assets.json, and this is just from my uh, blend for web add-on, one like this. Um, okay. I'll do this. For some reason it is not working. I am going to see why. Um, I don't see anything amiss. Ray Bandit. 
that's it. And around. And um uh port for BGE Okay, what is going on? Con dot, oh! It's not con dot logic, it's con dot owner. There we go. There we go. So now you see the numbers going like crazy. I'll use my mouse cursor. Yeah, so what you're going to want to do is. I'll do check this. It's a little slower, I'm going to enable tap. Okay, and so notice it's going from 1 to 4. And if I do positive and increase this to something like 10, it will choose a random number at an interval of 10. I do, let's try 20. It's still a bit fast, I'm going to do 30. You need to give time for your animation to play out. Now everyone has their own style of doing AI, this is just mine. Uh, it's doing a base from 1 to 4, so it'll give room for like 4 animations. I could turn this to like 5 and give it 5 animations, but I just, I'm going to stick with 4. Now what you would do is, um, you would hook up, oh, this should be this. Always would, if I was to use an always, it would put it on random intervals, which we don't want. So I'm using a random because that will put it on random intervals. Now I can adjust like the seed for a different effect. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'd hook up the motion to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start prepping for if we were to hook up a model to it. So I'm going to switch it to wired and I would make it invisible. And it would probably be a dynamic or character. I'll put mine a character. And I'll de-check invisible so you can see it. And now that we're back, um, sorry about that. And um, okay, let me give it where we were. So P play, this happens, the AI goes good. All right, so I'm gonna check actors just in case and let's get back into it. So I'm gonna add a bunch of properties into the front. You can press, click this and press P and we'll just add a property. We're going to need approximately four in total. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Um, they're going to be equal property AI, and then we're going to do a value of the first one's going to be a value of one positive. Uh, actually, I think I don't need positive for this. Value AI value of two. Select select AI with value of three. Select AI with a value of f 4. Okay, so there we have it. And now I would do a bunch of AND controllers to line it up. Alright, go. Um, I'm actually going to do Shift A and I'm going to add plane for this to land on. Scale her up. Uh, you know, I'll start giving things textures, or I'll just do wireframe for now. Okay, now, yeah, to work properly, we're going to uh, need some motion actuators. So we have one, two, three, and four of them, sure. Now, um, the first one we're going to name up. The name doesn't really matter, but we're going to anyways. Uh, and down. No, what? Down? No, that's not it. Uh, this is going to be left. And it would be right. Yeah. And this is going to be... Um, an extra animation. So there we go. Yeah. We'll just go with that. So in this case, we're going to make up y. Uh, y. So 
so I'll switch this char character motion Y. And this is also this is going to be on the rotation. So left is rotating positive Z. That doesn't help at all. Probably get different results if I do it this time. Two, come on. I'm gonna just tweak these settings a bit. I'm gonna do point oh two. My bad, gotta wire this in. There we go. I'd do something actually more like two. Uh, is that left? Yes, that is left. Okay, good. Two. Yeah, okay, there. And this will be uh, negative two on the negative axis for right and then the extra animation one will not have a motion and will have uh, an action instead so actually all of these would have technically have an action be for its own action to go with it so this is if you were to hook up a model but if you were to hook up a model these actions would not be on the cube so I'll just demonstrate how that would work later um, this cube is like a base and your character would go onto it, so we're gonna pretend this monkey is our character. Um, R Z one eighty. We need to have it facing on the Y axis. So if I go back, you know, I'm just gonna start texturing things. This is going to be invisible now. I'm gonna parent the monkey to shift parent the monkey e to the cube with sh uh, control p, and now I'm gonna select the monkey and shift select this. No, sh select the monkey, shift so the Susanna. I think it's actually yeah, Susanna. And shift select the cube, and the monkey will have the action. So you can add an, a walking action. I'm just gonna make one quick action for the Susanna. It's going to be I. Rotation, Alt A. Um, it's going to go to ten. It's, it's going to go. Uh, no. It's going to go uh, rotation on the x-axis up to minus forty. It's going to be I, and I'm going to do rotation. Only do rotation when you're doing animations, not location. You can do scale, but I wouldn't advise it, but only rotation or lo and scale, nothing else. And then this is going to come back to z down to zero. I'm going to go to 20, and this is going to come back down to zero. And this is an action. 20, it's I rotation. From 1 to 20 down here, and it's going to play the action without, with continue, yes. Continue is, I would say, a good one for it. And then I just add this. So, hit play. Whoa, what's going on? Static. Oh, this needs to be a no collision. Uh, so this is how the hit back boxes work and things. So uh, this is going to be either sensor or no collision. I'm going to put mine as a sensor. Actually, I put yours as no collision. But if yours goes like out of the box and stuff, I'd just do like no collision. But if you need to like detect objects with it and stuff, do sensor. So I'll do no collision for this. But if you need it to have collision or detect stuff, use like dynamic character or sensor. Just do not use static for this. Now I'm gonna make some uh, materials so the monkey will be... 
I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make go to GLSL. I'm gonna add a 60 frame rate. I would not advise that if you're using a slower computer. I'm gonna put up 1920 up here and 1080 here. I'm gonna make this desktop. Escape key, escape, okay. Um, this is just so I can add lighting, shift A. I really wish they would update OpenGL, the OpenGL. There. Okay. Now let's add some stuff in. Like this will be a green Susanna. And the plane will be black. And I'm gonna go to textured mode. Notice the Susanna is now working on its own. I'm not doing anything. This is AI. Now if I leave and do it again, it'll do a completely different set of actions. And it's all property based. So this is my favorite form of AI. I think AI usually works better when this ha when it's like this. And um, this was just, and don't forget to uh, hit file and save and save it to a location. Um, I would uh, save this script to a location so you can use this script in other projects. So just uh, go to text and hit save as and save it as a script. Um, this is the basics of AI. You can, this is how you link models up to AI and stuff like that. Um, if you had like a, a, a human and it needed to walk, I would hook up an action to on, the, on the Susanna for all of these motions. Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much just it, so um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and um, tell me what tutorial you want me to make next in the below, and um, I've actually got an idea if you'd like me to do like role plays and stuff, and like, move videos and stuff, and do like gaming stuff and stuff, or just like me making animations and stuff, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm Kodratti, and goodbye!